Hey, everybody. I'm Jeremy Shear, founder and CEO of Conversa Podcasting. Now, when ChatGPT came out and got all that buzz, just like everybody else, I was curious. I checked it out. thought, wow, this is pretty cool. And I immediately started thinking about, well, how can I use this for podcast production? One use case that immediately came to mind was cleaning up transcripts of podcast interviews. Now, this would be really useful because when you transcribe a podcast episode, whether you're using Descript or some other automated transcription app, it's not perfect. It comes out with a lot of spelling mistakes and punctuation problems and all that stuff. And if, if you want to more easily repurpose the text as a blog post or an article or whatever, it's a lot easier if the text is edited. Currently, we edit text by using human editors. That works okay, but it takes a little while and, you know, it costs money. So I thought, well, I wonder if I fed the transcript into chat GPT, could it do the same thing? And it took me a little while to figure out how to do that, but I think I found a pretty good solution. And so that's what I wanted to share with you in this video. Okay, so when you start with chat GPT, the first thing you need is a prompt to tell the AI what you want it to do. Now, I've created a number of preset prompts that you can just load in. This one is called Transcript Cleanup. And as you can see, it's pretty short and really simple. It reads, clean up the following text, removing a uh and um and repeated words, but otherwise use as much of the original text as possible. And I found that the specific wording of the prompt really matters. I tried a bunch of different variations, and this is the one I came up with that seems to work the best. But changing even just a single word in the prompt can affect what the AI does. So you do need to be as specific as possible in your prompts. The next part is going to the transcript and grabbing a part of it. Now, unfortunately, you cannot just grab the whole thing and paste it in, especially if it's pretty long like this one. And I think this came from like roughly a 20 minute podcast interview. It's about 3,400 words. So you have to feed the AI just chunks of it at a time. And I found that smaller chunks work best. So you can kind of guesstimate this is about 280 words. You could probably go to about 300 words at a time. So you copy that, go back to chat GPT, and paste it in. Now, once you've done that, before we hit submit, I just want to show you what's going on over here on the right side of the screen. You have all these different prompts. And to be totally honest, I don't completely understand how all of them work. But the ones that are most important for what we're doing here are the maximum length. And then this number down here, these two are correlated. So you want the maximum length to be set as high as you can possibly get it so that the AI's output will be as detailed as possible. The lower this is, sort of the less output you're going to get. Now, how do you know how far you can go here? You see, if I take it all the way to the right, this number down here turns red. And that means I've exceeded the token allowance. And again, without going into too much detail about what that means, it, it just means that there's only so much at one time that the AI can handle, at least in this version. That's a good reason why you want to feed ChatGPT kind of small chunks of text. And when you paste that in, you can see here that that amount of text equals about 435 tokens. And so I like to slide this to the right just until this turns red, meaning I've exceeded it. And then I'll dial it back just enough so that it's no longer red. Once that's all set, you're ready to hit submit, you want to make sure that there's a space between the text that you pasted in and the cursor. Then you hit submit, and the AI does its thing. And, you know, a few things that I wish were a little better, a little easier. It just spits out the text without any uh, spaces in between, and that's probably because when we pasted in the text, there are no spaces in between there, but it, it could make this a little hard to read. So, you can go in and manually put spaces. Before hitting submit, you could put spaces in here. The important thing is that the AI does a good job of 
what the prompt asked it to do. It removes the filler words, it removes repeated words, and otherwise it sticks pretty much to the text that we pasted in. And when you look here, you can see that in this paragraph, there's an uh over here, there's an um, another uh, and if we go here, you can see that the ums and the uhs are all taken out. Now, another thing that I noticed is that despite this prompt saying use as much of the original text as possible, the AI will do some condensing. And when it encounters a sentence or phrases or wording that are kind of convoluted, and it's going to in an interview transcript, because, you know, when people speak, sometimes they'll, they don't always use like proper grammar, or they'll they'll speak in a way that's a little that the sentences get kind of twisted around. So the AI will do its best to straighten that stuff out. So sometimes it'll kind of rearrange a sentence or even skip over a phrase or a sentence and kind of condense things a little bit. And there may be a way to use these controls over here to make it do more or less of that. I'm honestly not sure. But I found that Overall, it generally does a pretty good job of doing what you ask it to do in the prompt. Now, once you get this, you want to copy and paste it. So unfortunately, there's no easy way just to download it like into a Word document. That functionality doesn't exist yet. So you have to copy it and then paste it into a document. And as you can see, it kind of pastes just as these big blocks. Um, you have to put spaces in yourself. So, you know, again, this is not a perfect solution. There are some kind of, I don't maybe we'll call them bugs or just things that are not ideal. But that's how it is at this point. So you paste it in and then you rinse and repeat. Again, you want to get the, this number as small as possible. So you want to delete all of the text you pasted in and everything that the AI spit out and leave just the prompt and then go back to the transcript and just pick up right from where you left off. So grab about 300 more words or so, 275, copy, paste it in, leave a space here, and then once again, Click Submit, and the AI continues to do its thing. I found that for this transcript of, again, it's about uh, 3,400 words, once I got the hang of this, it took me about, I'd say, anywhere from 7 to 10 minutes to clean up the whole transcript. So the first time you do it, it's going to take longer because you're just not 100% sure what you're doing. But when you actually get the hang of it, it goes along pretty quickly and you end up with a cleaned up transcript. Now, look, I realize that, of course, this is not a perfect solution. It, it's a little cumbersome, right? You have to take chunks of the transcript and do the process over and over again and set the parameters and all that stuff. It's a little clunky, but again, once you get the hang of it, it does work pretty well and it's not that bad. And I think as this technology keeps progressing, doing this kind of thing is going to get easier and easier. But for right now, it is totally doable if you're willing to spend a little bit of time with ChatGPT or with whatever AI you're using. You can uh, really get a lot of value from it for, for taking a transcript and cleaning it up in really just a matter of minutes. And look, there might be a better and faster and easier way to do this that I just don't know about, maybe with another AI or maybe with ChatGPT and there's just a better way to use it. So if you know better than me, please let me know. I'd love to learn more. You can contact me at jeremy at conversa.com, or you can find me on LinkedIn. You can visit the Conversa website and connect with me there. So thanks a lot for watching, and I'll have a lot more content coming your way pretty soon.